Namaste yoga friends, my name is Doreen Foxwell. Welcome to today's Kids Yoga Meets Astrology. Today I wanted to come to you because a really awesome astrological event happened last night here on Earth from our vantage point. And it was the Northern Lights here in the United States, the Aura Lights, and not only United States, I think it was something that was seen in other countries as well. Like I saw pictures from Norway and Iceland and England and Scotland. And so the Northern Lights that usually you have to travel to a place like Alaska to see, or um, some very far away places for those of us that live in the Northeast, uh, were visible across our country and other countries. And it really was an aha moment for me when it comes to teaching. You see, we've been teaching yoga to kids for 20 years. And in yoga, there are certain things that a lot of, um, of your mainstream might find a little bit too woo-woo. But in the past couple years, there's been a shift in energy. The thing about energy is, a lot of times you can't see it with the naked eye. And um, there's so many things that the kids are in tune to, but as adults, we are not. We don't have the ability to hear it or see it or sense it. Although everyone has the ability, but we have so much other things on our plate that it's not as easy for things to come through. And what I wanted to show as a perfect example is the chakra system. You see, these are the colors of the yoga chakras. And I found it very interesting looking at the colors last night of all the pictures that everybody took of the aura or the northern lights. And guess what colors they represented? The chakras. And the chakras are what is represents our body's energy. Now you can't see it with the naked eye, although some very, very in tune, let's say, spiritual people might be able to, but your most everyday people can't. But these represent those colors, your chakra energies inside and outside of your body. So my point today is, very briefly, just because you can't see it with the naked eye, like last night's Northern Lights, you had to use your cameras in order to see it. I kept going outside, probably like many people, and I didn't see it until I got a very late night text from my son who lives in another time zone and sent his and says, you have to use your camera app and you have to do it on, on night mode. I'm like, oh. And so then I was able to see what he was talking about. And so I did at least feel, I guess, the energy because even though you can't see it, we know it's there. The magic of the Northern Lights. Lucky for me and many people, we're going to be able to see it for the next few days this weekend. So I'm going to go out again earlier in the evening instead of waking up two or three times in the middle of the night to look. And I'm going to get some more pictures and use my camera since whatever reason, your cameras, your cell phones can catch it. And you know why I think that's the case? I think part of it, and I'm not a scientist, I'm a yogi. Um, is because there's crystal technology in every cell phone. And crystals vibrate at a much higher vibration, catching those higher color vibrations than our eyes can see. We vibrate at a very low, low, low vibration. And so I wanted to just get that message out there to you this weekend that just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not there. Just because you can't sense it your children can sense it, doesn't mean it's not there. So all of the woo-woo, I'll call it, things in today's world that are starting to become a lot more mainstream that we are starting also to integrate into our classes with the children, especially in Kids Yoga Meets Astrology, it is because that our whole world is starting to raise its vibration where 
everybody has the opportunity to feel it, to sense it, to vibrate higher, and to become a part of this magic. Namaste. Have a great yoga day.